Hello and welcome to Android tutorial on how to set an alarm in Android Studio. This is how our application is going to look like. So we put our here and we put minute here and we click on this set alarm button. Let's take a look at the flow of our application. So here we got our app and we got alarm app. When we click on this set alarm button, we send an implicit intent object to Android system. And we ask for permission to use alarm app. And also we send some extra information there. We send hour, we send minute and we send an action. In this case, action is set, set alarm. And because of that, we get this alarm created here. Now let's create a new project. File, new, new project. Now name your application however you want. I'm going to call mine Alarm Tutorial. And click on Next, Next. Make sure you choose Empty Activity, Next, and Finish. Okay, so first thing you need to know is that you cannot just like that open your default alarm application. You actually need to have a permission. So open your manifest file and type the following. Uses permission com dot oops android dot alarm dot permi permission dot set alarm. I'm actually going to put this in the in the description, okay? So now let's create a layout. Just delete everything that is this hello world text view and change layout to relative layout because it's easier and faster. Okay? And put plain text here and play text here and one button down below. Let's set ID for this plain text to be our edit text and for this one minute edit text and let's actually delete this name and set the set input type to time and also here delete this name and set input time to input type to time okay let's call this button set alarm button and text can be set alarm, for example. And let's actually put a hint here. So, hour and minute here. Okay. That is it for our layout. We don't need anything more. Okay. Now let's jump into code. Now what we, wa what we want to do is to create variables first, so edit text m uh, alt enter to include this m our edit text and one other one and minute edit text and let's create a button oh, alt enter to import button m set alarm button okay now let's initialize this these guys so m our edit text equals to cast it to edit text find view by id error that id that our edit text and now let's do the same with minute edit text m minute edit text equals cast it to edit text find view by id error that id that minute edit text and now let's initialize our button 
so I'm set to one button. Cast it to button, find you by D, error ID, that set alarm button. And let's set a click listener on this button so that when we click on it, on that button, something happens. Okay, so now let's get a value from our edit text from this one and this one. So type int hour equals two. And since we're going to get uh, string values from edit text, let's just convert them to int right away. So integer dot parse int m our edit text dot get text dot to string. And let's get a minute equals to integer dot parse int m minute edit text dot get text dot to string. Okay. And now let's create our implicit intent. 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 Make sure you press Alt Enter to import intent. Equals to new intent. And in this intent, we want to put alarm clock that action set alarm. So this is the action that I was talking about. And now type intent, put extra alarm clock that extra hour and second parameter is hour. Now again type intent that put extra alarm clock that extra minute and put a minute. Now as you can see here when you type intent put extra and you type alarm clock that extra we can put days here, ESPM, length, message, ringtone, so you can play with that and just customize your alarm. But for now we're just gonna use hour and minute because it is simple. Okay. And now what, wa what we want to do is to type start activity and pass this intent. And this is basically it, but one more thing, because you can put, for example, our 55 and that is not possible. Let's just make some constraints with if statement. So if our is smaller or equals to 24 and minute is smaller or equal to 16, 60. we can start activity and pass this intent out and if values are not possible then nothing is going to happen. So let's start our application now. And this is our program so let's actually try to put some impossible values to see if it is going to work and yeah so nothing. So. Let's put something real, set alarm, and as you can see, it is working. So that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day.